Well, this is Singapore Today. You're with Melanie Olivero and Lance Alexander. Hello, it's New Year's Eve. So we're going to talk all about what's happening in different parts of Singapore tonight because we are hours away from the new year. And to get us all pumped up for it, the Ministry of DJs will be counting down to 2021. They have a quality lineup to put... A very tough 2020 to bed mm. and a blast in with 2021. <laughs> they have Oli Des kicking off from 10.30 tonight and thereafter DJ swap every 30 minutes. And the party ends at 2 in the morning with Jeremy Leong or DJ Gemstar who in fact joins us right now. Uh, Jeremy or Gemstar, you are on the line. So tell us, are you planning to have a rest before things actually kick off a little later for you? <laughs> Yeah, hi Lance and uh, Melanie. Uh, thanks for having me. Okay, um, I don't think I'll have time to rest. Uh, <laughs> it'll be definitely very hectic for me. And uh, actually, I've just bought a new green screen backdrop, so probably I'll put it up later of this after this uh, interview. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll want to know what you're going to use as your wallpaper, but yeah, you've got to tell us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, the green screen is actually uh, for uh, our DJ visuals. So in actually the the uh, live stream, right, we have uh, visuals behind the DJs. So yeah, so that's the ultimate purpose of the green screen, actually. Okay, okay. and just to uh, clarify, all of this is going to be held online, yeah, and we, no one can seek you out because uh, you're not going to be available. So we'll all party with you online. Yeah, that's right. It'll be online on our Facebook page. So can you tell us more about this countdown and uh, what more we can expect to add on to what you said earlier? Okay, uh, actually, uh, Ministry of DJs is actually a DJ school which I'm uh, running. Uh, and this countdown will, will actually uh, feature our DJ instructors. Uh, it will be live from 10 p.m. onwards and uh, all the way till 2. And we have seven DJs uh, playing different genres. And we have Oli Bass at 10 p.m. He'll be playing more uh, urban sort of sounds. And after that, it will be uh, DJ Red. She'll be playing a little bit uh, harder, uh, namely probably uh, hard dance and trap music. After that would be Effen. He'll be playing trance and doing the uh, countdown segment would be the Wonton Street Squad. Mm -hmm. uh, they consist of actually uh, three DJs and an MC. Then after the countdown, uh, it will be DJ Dash. He'll be playing uh, Mendo Pop hits, Euro dance, and after that it will be DJ Duo Paramacy. They will go with hard style, and finally myself to close the night with some uh, electronic dance music. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be very late. Uh, it's going to go on beyond two in the morning. Now, how do we tune in, and is there a cost involved here? Okay, for this countdown, uh, it will be absolutely free. It will be on our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Ministry of DJs SG. Uh, anybody can tune in from 10 p.m. onwards on our Facebook page. Hey, um, I, want, I also wanted to ask you this, uh, Jeremy, because sometimes when my friends on Facebook uh, hold a DJ session of their own, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. the music gets blocked out due to copyright reasons. So this is not going to happen with, with you guys, right? Okay, uh, we actually plan our music, our sets, uh, so that, you know, it really doesn't infringe the copyright. <laughs> yeah, so it actually takes uh, quite some time to, you know, program each individual set uh, so so as to ensure that there is no music copyright infringement. Yeah. Now, we know you want to see people dancing, mingling, partying to the music, you're DJing, but that's unfortunately all come to a grinding halt for the bulk of 2020. So how difficult has it been uh, for club and party DJs during COVID-19? Okay, uh, when the circuit breaker hits, right, uh, the clubs and events, they all were shut down indefinitely. So uh, I would say all of my DJ friends who does DJing full time, right, were our job and uh, the income took a very big hit. I would say for myself, right, my DJ income dropped by like 100%. Um, so definitely it's a very tough period for everybody. But um, to date, I am sure, and I've known a couple of my friends, my DJ friends, 
they have actually uh, started something new, you know, a new brand new job scope. They pivoted to uh, other sectors and all that. But fortunately for me, uh, my DJ school, Miss Girl DJs, is still uh, up and running. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that's right, because you did have to pivot at the Ministry of DJs. So mm-hmm. how big did these online lessons to be a DJ or, you know, the buying of quality equipment from your online shop go then? Okay, uh, firstly, we did try to promote the online, D, um, I mean, the online DJ lessons. But however, it was really, really tough because uh, the potential signups, right, did not have the hardware and the equipment. So it's uh, pretty hard to hold the uh, DJ lessons online. And our equipment sales also took a huge plunge. But however, right, our music production cost did kick off pretty uh, pretty well. Uh, as it is more software oriented, it's easy to conduct the lessons via Zoom. Mm. So uh, surprisingly, we not only have local students sign up, but we have overseas students as well. So... Uh, the thought of having overseas students actually did not cross my mind. But once I kick the kick off the uh, production lessons online, right, uh, we have students unexpectedly signing up from countries like Indonesia and Myanmar. Yeah, so it's pretty fortunate for us in uh, in that sense. I think that's great news because you know you're going international as well. So you know <laughs> yeah. you you grab whoever wants to learn how to DJ. Now we know it's a, a fairly youngish scene when it comes to DJ. Have you had older students, people maybe beyond 40, 50 years of age? Oh yes, uh, oh. the age range of our students is pretty wide. Our younger student is probably four or five years old, and to date, our oldest student right is actually sixty-seven. Yeah. So the age, uh, the age range is pretty, pretty wide. So is it uh, the new way of DJing where it's uh, mostly digital or, or is it back to the, the times when they had two uh, vinyl and consoles and everything? Okay, uh, DJing nowadays right, has definitely changed, you know, evolved into a more digital format. Uh, it, I mean, in, in this age, right, um, it's easier to learn because we have the DJ software, uh, we have the digitized DJ equipment and mixer. Uh, definitely, it's easier uh, for the younger age, uh, I mean, younger age people to pick up. Uh, of course, they do. Uh, there are still DJs that does uh, vinyls, but I believe this has become a very, very niche, uh, niche skill and, you know, it's only limited to a group of DJs that does this deal. Now, we know that virtual events have become really popular to get people on the dance floor, although you're not with them um, physically. Um, the only problem is this, because now people can go anywhere in the world for these online parties with uh, DJs from anywhere in the world. Like, they may come to Singapore but uh, to, to see what you guys do, but a lot of people will also go overseas. So what was your unique selling point? Okay, I think our unique selling point, right, is probably the uh, live stream quality. Uh, we don't just use a sm- smartphone and just broadcast live. Uh, we run it through the uh, open broadcast software uh, with pre-programmed visuals, graphics, and uh, we mostly feature homegrown DJs from Singapore, be it the old school DJs or the up-and-coming DJs as well. Okay, yeah. we know where to find you at 11.59 tonight. Uh, Jeremy, DJ Jamstar, but what's your wish for 2021 for Singapore then? Okay, I wish and I hope that the economy would actually open up faster and of course that the uh, COVID situation would actually uh, ease off so that uh, everyone would go back to to their normal lives and of course, most importantly, for the entertainment venues to be open really, really very soon and also... uh, like to wish everybody listening in an advanced happy 2021 and to you too Jeremy all the very best and we hope we can party with you in person uh, next year that was Jeremy Leong or DJ Gemstar the director of the Ministry of DJs you can join him Oli Dez Red Effen Wonton Street Squad Dash and Paramacy from 10.30pm tonight welcoming in the new year on their Ministry of DJ's Facebook page.